So I'm going to pick it up with how to put the corners in. Uh, so I have a solved puzzle once again just to kind of demonstrate it, but we left off where we put these tiny little triangles in here. Uh, so I talked about putting the corners in with uh, an algorithm that with a commutator that allows for corners to be shifted around the puzzle. I'm going to expand that strategy out a little bit because although you can do it the way that was shown with the algorithms, it might be difficult in terms of getting all the setup. So uh, I'm actually going to do this much like I would uh, three by three, just with corners. And if this were a side, I'm going to be oscillating this, this, and this corner by doing a very familiar last layered um, permutation algorithm of the corners. This is uh, the same thing as in the beginner's method. So what this is going to do, it's going to be the same U R U I L I U R I U I L algorithm that we, we do with the last layer of the 3x3 to put the corners in. Um, and what this is going to do is this will cause this to come here, this to come here, and then this is going to be untouched and this to come here. Now the key with this is as we're holding it in this position, and this is, let's say, we'll say that this is one layer over here, including this. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six corners that are kind of be, uh, uh, they're going to kind of be participating with this. Among that, this won't change, the one just below it won't change, and this one won't change. We're going to be three cycling these guys. And the way that this is going to work is that this color up here is going, to end, is going to end up over here. So we need to coordinate it. We're knowing that this green color here, whatever color is here, so not on the top, but this color is going to end up here. And that if you look at it, this color here is going to end up on top over here. So we'll do the algorithm, and this is not a new algorithm. So here's how that algorithm is going to work. Hi. Hi. Here's how that algorithm is going to work. It's going to do, so this is going to be a U, R, U, I, L I U R I U I L. So there's nothing really new about that, but notice this didn't change, this didn't change, and this didn't change. This corner went to here, and what happened is that this green color here went to here. So however you wanted to coordinate it, but uh, think of it in terms of this green color here went to here. So this color went to here. This piece jumped over here and went to here, and this blue color, which was over here, so this color here comes up to there. So that'll, that's going to become useful when we talk about how to coordinate these last layers. Uh, so to get it back, once again, we anticipate this cream color is going to be up here, this orange color is going to be over here. So once again, U, R, U, I, L, I, U, R, I, U, I, L. So cream colors over here, orange is here. One more time and we'll see that this red will go where it belongs here and this pink will go where it belongs over here. Turn, turn. Uh, same algorithm. Turn, turn. Okay, so there's one other aspect that you're going to need to make the corner solving a lot more smooth. Because the way that I'm going to do this is, is notice that we looked at this layer over here. On this bottom layer over here, I'm going to put all of these in by the sliding U technique. Then I'm going to shift to over here. Now there's something else that you need to bear in mind which is going to make this solve a lot more easy. From time to time, you're going to find that the orientation to get this to here isn't going to be quite right. And the orientation to get this to here isn't going to be quite right. So the, what we want to do is we want to find a way of reorienting this and turning this so that it can be in the proper position to be where it needs to be when you do that algorithm. Uh, so what I would recommend is this. To turn this around, you can start from the back here. And it's, this is kind of like a variation of an R-I-D-A-R-D. But if I focus on this, this will move down and this will move up. So that effectively turned this around. So uh, this red one is now over here. To turn it back, you simply you bring this back and this up. Now that seems simple, but just remember that confirmation because no matter where you are with the corners, if you just remember that and one other, it'll be a lot easier. Now the thing about it is that if you just reverse what you did, let's say you had to turn this twice or three times, just keep reversing what you did and you'll get back right where you started from. So let's say I wanted to turn this around even more. So I'll go down, up, that's one, and now it's not quite in, let's say, so I go down, up, that's two. 
It'll put it where it needs to be and then do the algorithm. Then to get this back so that all these pieces come back, you once again do it twice, back and up, back and up twice. Okay, so remember that configuration. Now what about this guy? Well, same kind of thing. I'm gonna use this layer here and this layer here. And I just have to keep track of that. And that's gonna be down and up, which is the same corner piece, it's just rotate. And you can do it again down and up any number of times. Just remember to bring it back, we'll go down and back, down and back. So bear that in mind, we're gonna apply those two, those, uh, that um, permutation algorithm, as well as that orientation little commutator, and that's gonna make this go by a lot easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and scramble up the corners again and show you what I mean. Okay, so I got the corners scrambled up. Um, these are all fine, so at this stage in the game, you won't have the centers in like I do, but don't worry about that now. Uh, but you should have these guys, and the next part is to move the corners. So with the corners, I'm gonna start off, I'm gonna pick a layer, so to speak. Now it's a false layer, but a layer nonetheless. It's gonna consist of something in the middle, and then these one, two, three, four, five corners over here. I'm just gonna focus on that and put those in, and these are gonna guide me as to what color goes where. So looking at this, uh, let's say I'm gonna, something that's gonna be easy for me to remember as to what's gonna be my bottom layer. Uh, and I think if I have red, white, and these green, these primary colors here, that should be fairly easy to remember. Um, or better yet, if I just remember the two reds together, that might even be better. So let's go ahead and find a corner with the red, white, white, and blue in it, and it looks like it's this. So I gotta get this over to here. Uh, so I'm not gonna s stress about the first corner. Using a sliding U technique, I just need to put it in, in different, uh, by different layers. So if I move it in like this, that's the wrong angle, so I have to find another angle to put it in. How about this? Again, wrong angle. Uh, so, so, let's see. If we were to practice that technique, that corner moving technique, to move this to here, uh, we can find a way. So right now I'm just focused on getting this corner into this area over here. Let's find a configuration that that can happen. So if I hold it, say, like this, in this configuration, then as, par as part of the algorithm, this will come here, this will come here, and this will come here. So really what, what that's gonna do is I wanna move this to here. Bear in mind though that I want to put the white one here and the red one here, the, the white side here and the red side here. This white side is over here. I've got to move this white to here. So applying the strategy that I was talking about, if I make this my top layer and I want to rotate this, I want to rotate this corner until this white comes over to here. So I'm going to take this back part and go back and up. And I see it's not there yet, so I'm going to keep turning around and around so that's one time and keep doing it until it's here. Back and up, that's two. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the algorithm, put it in here, and then move this back, do just the opposite. So it's gonna be U, R, U, I, L, I, U, R, I, U, I, L. So this is now where it needs to be. I just need to move this, I just need to move this back. So I'm gonna go twice, back, and up. That's once, and back, and up. Now, the thing is, you may say, well, why did you even do that? Because um, this is the first one that you did. I only did that for practice. Uh, but anyway, that's, that's, that's what you do. So you can see that this is now in, this is correct. I now wanna place these in any way possible, whether it's sliding U technique or something else. So I'm looking for the, the dark red and white. Dark red and white is over here. So this is uh, fairly far away. And I'm gonna get this over to here. So I shouldn't be more than just a couple turns away from getting it in a configuration that would be helpful. So I'm gonna move this like so. And I wanna get this to here. Uh, well, I can utilize this configuration. The only problem is that this is gonna be in trouble if I do that. So I can slide this into here, and in the proper uh, order, I can just turn this around, but how am I gonna protect this one? Whoa. Well, what I could do, and again, I don't wanna construct and deconstruct it too much. Alternatively, with this here, I can take this, hold it in this position so that this becomes my top, and simply move this up to here. Uh, so what I wanna do is now, one turn of the algorithm will take this and move it to here. 
Uh, now, in what configuration uh, is it going to have to go? Well, I just have to remember that the blue one is going to be here. So I'm going to move this to here. So the blue has to be here. Um, the one that's going to be on the top, though, that's going to be green. So I'm going to come over to here. So the green is going to be up here. So this green has to come down to here. I have to move this to here, and then it's going to be where it needs to be. So in order to make that happen, it's going to be down and up. That's one, and this is not quite where it needs to be yet. And then down, up, that's two. Not yet, down and up. That's three, down, up, and that's four. So I had to do it four times to move this green in the configuration to come here. Now to quickly do the algorithm. U, R, U, I, L, I, U, R, I, U, I, L. Okay, so that did move that on top. I can go ahead and move this back into position. You can see this is now where it needs to be. And not losing my place. All right, so we take it back to here. Now we want here and here to do that. So we just roll it back four times. Remembering this is the top. You can tell that this is wrong because these uh, aren't um, coordinated again. So that's one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. So that puts all of this back in, and what we have is now, uh, this is now moved in over here. So we've got this in, and we've got this in. So we're going to keep going. We're going to go ahead with this one here. So I'm looking for the red and white. Here it is. So this is where it needs to be. It's just, uh, it's just um, rotated wrong. So we've got to rotate this correctly. The uh, best way to do that, I think, is move it out and then move it back in. So here's how we're going to do that. I'm going to coordinate this up to, uh, well, let's see, up to here. Uh, that's going to protect this, and this is going to be protected. I'm going to send this around to here, and then I'm going to make sure that it's rotated correctly when I send it back. So I'm going to do that algorithm, the permutation algorithm, twice to bring it to here. U R U I L I U R I U I L. Okay, one more time. Turn, 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 and turn. Okay. So now what I need to do is I need to get this white and I need to move it down here. So I'm going to do the same configuration. It might seem like it's a lot. The thing about the corners is I never wanted to do a solve where I'd have to write things down or have to remember just too many things. But if I can just remember the orientation um, little commutator here and here, then I don't have to do that. It's just a matter of remembering one algorithm and just the number of commutators that it took to, to, to turn this around. So uh, it's kind of like doing our idea already. You don't really have to memorize that. But I need to get this white down to here. So that's one, one. It's not there yet. Two, two, not yet, three, three, and there it is. So three times of that should reverse it, should bring it back. No need to memorize anything or write anything down except for the number three. Bring this to here, U, R, U, I, L, I, U, R, I, U, I, L. Okay, now that this is in, I want to move this back. And I know that I had to do that three times. So just remember this came down and across. So one, one. Two, two. And then three and three. Now, you don't even have to remember how many times you did it. You just stop when all these are fine. So it makes it even easier than that. So this is in, this is in, this is in. Okay, so I've got this in, this in, and this in. I've got to put this one in, green, uh, rather red and blue, right over here, red and blue. Um, so to get this to here, 
I'm just going to find an area where this can roll to here. This is going to end up participating in it. I can roll this up to here, but then this will participate in it, and uh, we don't want to have that happen. So I'm going to deconstruct it a little bit, move this up, and move this across. This will not participate because this is protecting this position. Now what I'm going to do is move this into here. Uh, now what I need to do, I just have to remember to move it back like here and here when I'm done. But that shouldn't be too hard to remember. So what I'm going to do is try to roll it to where this orange can come over to here. So the one over here, I've got to get the orange over to uh, from here to here. So I'm going to do my little RIDARD version. So that's one, one, and it's it's in there. So now that it's there, I just have to remember to roll it back um, by one. Just do do that algorithm once. So you go ahead and do it. You are. U I L I U R I U I L. This is in. We get this back. Remember this rolled here and then here. So we go one, one. And I think that was all that we did. We just did it once. Now we're going to go ahead and roll this back where it came from. This moves here and this moves here. We can check ourselves, all these are in, and so now we see that this is in, this is in, actually I'm sorry, this was the middle, this is in, this, this, and this. So now we gotta slide these two in. Hopefully this will be a little bit uh, quicker, easier. This guy belongs over to here. So uh, because we're so close to it, it's just gotta roll in like this. So maybe we can do a sliding U technique with, uh, with this. If I were to take this, slide it in over here, from the right, move it to the left, roll it up from the left, back to the right, down on the right, back to the left, down on the left, and then swing it back. So now that's in. It fell through the hole. So, uh, so now we have this in, this, 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 and this, and this is just a simple sliding U technique. What are you doing? I'm playing your behavior good. Okay. The ball fell in the hole. Excellent. So, uh, so, so now we do the red and the pink. Red and the pink. So this guy, perhaps? Yeah, because there's a dark blue. There's a dark blue here. So I'm going to move this to here. Um, shall I attempt another sliding U technique? Well, I'll have to deconstruct it a little bit. But I seem to be surrounded by too many things that are useful where they are. So if I hold it over here, then this can end up coming down to here. The only problem is that this is going to participate in that. So what I could do is the same thing as before, go up and across. So when this comes in, this green has to move over to here. So we're going to do... Uh, Alright, so to move this into the green over here, this green has to be over here. Just like that. Okay, so uh, we're going to do our same thing to move the green here. One, one, and we just had to do it once. Quickly, quickly do the algorithm. Turn, 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 and you know the rest of the song. There it is. Okay, now we turn this back by one. So that's turn and turn, does it once. And now we just reconstruct it back by moving this back down to here. Splat and clunk. Okay, so what that did is that put in this whole pseudo side. This is in this, 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 and this. And I only did the sliding U technique once, um, but it mostly did that other normal corner turning algorithm. So it's not a new algorithm. All right, so now once this is in, I'm going to turn this upside down. You can see this is where it needs to be. It's just rotated wrong. So I'm going to orient this in this position here. I'm going to send this over to here and then orient it right. i got to make sure that these two don't participate in that. This is already protected here, so I'm going to take this move it into here. This will participate in the in the algorithm, but it doesn't matter. This one is protected here. So let's take this, move this to here. Turn, 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 and turn. Once more. Turn, 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 and turn. Okay. Now that that's there, I gotta make it to where this cream color is over here. So I'm gonna do that roundabout mechanism here. So that's that's one, 
one, not yet, two, two, and now that's where it needs to be after two times. Turn, 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 turn. I want. Turn, 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 and turn. This is where it needs to be. It was two to get it in. Now it's going to be two to get it back. So one, one, two, two. And now we just turn this guy back as we did before. So now we can see this is where it needs to be. So this pseudo side is done. And this is where it needs to be over here. Now it's just a matter of turning these guys in. Hello. So uh, what should we do first? Well, first off, are there any here that's already in uh, or can be placed in? So this is where it needs to be. It's just rotated wrong. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that go for now. Is there one that's one off from being in? This guy needs to come to here. Two greens, two greens. So if I hold it here, I can easily send this to here. That's all I'm gonna focus on right now, and then I'm gonna orient it correctly when it gets to here. And none of these are particularly protected from where they need to be. So turn, 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 turn. Same algorithm. Okay, now that this is here, I want to move the silver one to here, so this silver has to be on this side right over here. So one, one, one turn of the algorithm moved it there, and we'll go ahead and move it in. Turn, 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 and down. Now that's in, so one turn of the undoing of the algorithm shall bring it back. So that's one, and one. All right, so there that is over here. Now that that's there, the next one that I want to put in is either going to be, say, here, because that way I can hold it here and it's protected, or here, because these can be protected. In other words, I want one that's a, a cross that is a one that's off by one corner, because then I can just three cycle these three. This belongs over here, so that's got a, more of a chance. So I can hold it here to move this to here. I want to protect this keep it from being in a bad position, so I'm simply going to move it like so. Bumps it out of the way. This one is protected down here, so this is here. So what I want to do is I want to move this light purple to here, so this has to go on top. So one, one, and again, two, two, and actually I would even say you don't even have to keep count. It's not there yet. Three and three. So there it is to here, and we we'll go ahead and do it. So turn, 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 and turn. Okay, now we just undo those moves until it brings it back, however many times it is. One, one, two, two, three, and three. Yep, looks like another one is needed. Okay, this is all in. This is in. You have to move this guy back. And there it is. Okay, so now these two are in. These are all in. Whoa. Now all I have are these three corners. I'm going to hold in this configuration, and then we see what needs to go where. So, let's see, this belongs here, and this belongs down here. So, that means this guy, this guy here belongs over here. So let's take this, the first thing I'm going to do is move this one into place over here. So let's move this to here first. I'm not going to mess anything up that I already have. Turn, 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 and turn. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is get this guy into here, rotate it correctly over here. Now I'm not going to move this one in the proper configuration or the proper rotation yet over here because I'm going to have to move it back and it'll mess this guy up. So I'm going to take this and rotate it correctly here. So this purple has to be over here. So one, one, two, two, three, 
three. So this purple is now where it needs to be. We just go ahead and move it in. Turn, 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 and turn. This is where it needs to be. We simply get this back. One, one. Two, two, three, and three. Okay, so this is in, this is in, this is in. Now here's what's interesting. This is where it needs to be, it's just rotated wrong. This is where it needs to be, but it's rotated wrong. So, now what do I do? Well, the next step is to go ahead and send this, rather, send this guy around over here, and then rotate it until it comes back over here. So I'm going to send this back around here till it's one off from being where it needs to be. So go ahead and take this, send it back around over here. So U R U I R I U Turn, turn, and turn. I think I'm saying the algorithm wrong, but that's okay. Turn, 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 and turn. Okay. So we're one off from this being over to here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this in the proper configuration to bring it over here. So this will safely, now no matter how many times I take this, which was over here, and send it around, it'll always come back in the same, in the right configuration. Always come back in the correct configuration. So I'm not worried about this. By moving this around, it's going to come back in the correct configuration. This will come back over here. But what about the other one? Well, automatically, this will be correctly placed. And this has to do with parity. Now, you usually think of the word parity in a negative connotation as an impossibility of solving. In this case, parity is a, is a, is a positive connotation because the parity of the puzzle just means the organization of it. I ha um, it's, this is not a puzzle that displays parity problems as I'm not reducing it from something of one type of parity to another. So I know automatically, once I rotate this in position, this last one automatically has to be correct because the parity of this puzzle is not broken. So it's the very parity of this puzzle that guarantees me that once I put this one in, this one is automatically going to be put back in. So let's go ahead and rotate this around until it comes over to here. So one, one. We just did it once and go ahead and do it. U, R, U, I, R, I, turn, 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 and turn. These two are in, and we simply move this guy back by going one and one. And as predicted, this came back in, so now all of the corners are solved. So what we've done is we've now placed all the corners in just by that mechanism. In this case, you didn't have to write anything down. You didn't have to memorize anything. You didn't have to remember really long uh, uh, deconstructions and reconstructions. All you had to remember is that one algorithm, possibly sliding U technique, and the variations of RID, RD from this side and this side to turn it around. So no problems. So now the corners are in and these are in. Uh, in my particular configuration, these are also in, but it's probably not in your case. And then you move on to these guys.